Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and it is August the 6th, 2011. I am just below Logan Pass, which is the highest point on the um, road. What is it? It's not, is it Road to the Sun? I can, am I getting it? The Going, Going to the Sun Road. I'm going to finally get that right. So this is absolutely spectacular scenery, and I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera around so uh, you can see it better than you can see. So I've flipped my camera, and you are now seeing what I was seeing behind me, and I'm just going to kind of pan. I'll, I'll first kind of go down this beautiful, beautiful valley. It is about 3.30 in the afternoon, and look at that amazing waterfall that is coming down the mountain. And you can just follow it all the way up to where it originates in these snow fields up here. So we are actually, the pass is just below, kind of at the foot of that tall peak that's to the left. And so that's where we are about to go. And there is a, a visitor center there. But this is just, I'll see if I can make this expose a little bit better. This is just stunning, stunning geography here. And... Wow, I don't think an artist could do, it could make any kind of improvement upon this if we were, if we were trying to improve. You can see the road over here on the side, and it does get very narrow in parts, and you can see the water that is coming down. Had 200% or twice the normal snowfall this past winter, and so combined with a very slow uh, arriving or cold spring has made for a fast a fast snow melt just absolutely gorgeous and you can bet your bottom dollar that all the water that you see coming down there is mighty cold since it is recently been snow and newly converted Dad, do you want to say anything? Uh, here. Reflect. Reflect for us on the beauty of what you've seen today. Well, today we're reversing what we did yesterday. Yesterday we went uh, west to east across the park, and now we're coming back and just, just seeing things from, a, you know, really a different uh, perspective and all. So, uh, like we just read back, we just saw two, uh, two glaciers that are, most visible from the uh, from the road, one's the, the Jackson Glacier, and they had a showed what uh, in th three different time periods what those glaciers look like, and as we've probably said before, the by the year 2030 is when they expect the uh, the glaciers to disappear, and it will change the park. It's not going to change, of course, the the mountains and the, still the spectacular scenery, but. Uh, uh, it's going to really affect the uh, the streams and the, the snow melt. You know, once the snow melts uh, this time of the year, it's the glaciers that are feeding these streams. And of course, by 2030, they'll be gone. So, um, anyway, just an awesome, awesome time. And if you haven't ever been here, put it on your uh, bucket list to get up here because it's great. Bye bye. All right, thanks. We've got a shadow that's kind of come across the the valley here, so I will pan across one more time the camera does not quite do this full justice